Hi everybody. Welcome back to Art with Cha on the internet. This week I'd like to do some art with you inspired by the dot paintings of the Australian Aboriginal people. These dot paintings are not just incredibly beautiful works of art, but also important historical and cultural documents telling stories through symbols and communicating details about their lives. Each dot painting is an individual story as told by the storyteller painter. I'd like you to make a dot painting that tells a small story about you. We'll start by using the outline of our own hand. This represents you, your own individual human self. You can freehand a circle around it or find something to trace that is bigger than your hand. Add some more circle lines inside, but not on top of your hand, to make a set of concentric circles. Circles are a powerful shape and help emphasize your hand. Concentric circles in Aboriginal art symbolize a campsite, resting place, or waterhole. These are important sites of human connection. Think about what place your circle represents. For me, this circle represents my home. Next, add some simple drawings or symbols that connect to your circle place. Inside my handprint, I'm adding these U shapes, which each symbolize a person for the three people that make up my family. I'm adding some squiggly lines to represent the Alewife Brook and the Mystic River that my house is close to. Next to them, I added a special trail with hash marks to represent the runs with our jogging stroller that my family takes and the tracks that we might leave behind. I'm drawing some footprints around my circle place for the many walks that we take around the block. I'm also drawing some leaves to symbolize all the planting I have done this spring with my daughter. Okay. Now that I have my basic drawing outlined, I'm ready to add some dots. You can add dots in a lot of different ways. You can use paint if you have it and use Q-tips, pencil erasers, or any other stick-like object to make your dots. You could use markers like this or even crayons or color pencils. It works best if the tips are a little bit blunt. You could even draw little circles instead of making a solid dot. Try using different sized dots within your painting. Your dots can follow the lines that you drew on your page to draw focus to your shapes. You can color some parts of your drawing in before you put dots over it if you want. Try to fill as much of your page with dots as possible. Remember, this is your personal drawing. So you can use some of the Aboriginal symbols that I showed you but you can feel free to make up your own or just draw what you feel. Remember to keep your shapes pretty simple so that you can fill them with the beautiful dots. I'm really looking forward to seeing your personal dot art stories inspired by Australian Aboriginal art. Please share your work with me and your teachers with a short explanation of your painting. Thank you, kindergarten, and I'll see you next week for live art.